Okay, let's first return to our top story tonight, which is that the former Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala has been charged with abuse of office of alleged procurement fraud and irregular payments of some 8.5 billion shillings in the construction of the proposed Ronald Ngala Utali College in Vipingo, Kilifi County. Balala was arrested on Thursday evening and spent the night at Kilimani Police Station here in Nairobi before being taken to the ESCC headquarters Friday morning for processing and was later flown to Malindi for prosecution. Balala, who is charged alongside former Tourism Permanent Secretary Lea Guio and Joseph Odero, is accused of going against a cabinet decision which led to irregular payment of over 3.3 billion shillings. More than 16 hours after he was arrested by EACC detectives in Nairobi and locked up at Kilimani Police Station, former Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala was flown to Mombasa, driven by road to Malindi, where he was arraigned at Malindi Anti-Corruption Court to face charges of abuse of office. <laughs> Balala was accused of improperly conferring a benefit to four private consultants against a cabinet decision in 2010, which led to the irregular payment of 3.3 billion shillings to the firms for consultancy services for the design, documentation, supervision and contract management of the proposed Ronald Ngala Otali College. The former CS denied the charges and was released on 1 million shillings cash bail. Former Tourism and Wildlife Permanent Secretary Lea Guio, who also faced same charges, pleaded not guilty and was also released on one million shillings cash bail. The other suspect in the dock was Joseph Odero, a managing partner at West Consult Engineers, who was charged with unlawful acquisition of public property. Odero was allegedly paid 292 million shillings, which was excess payment made by the tourism fund for the works done. Odero was released on 800,000 shillings cash bail. It is the finding of the court that none of the accused persons is a flight risk and that there are no aggravating factors to call for harsh bail or boot terms, irrespective of the amounts in question. Each of the first and second accused persons is admitted to a board of five million with a surety of like amount or a cash bail of one million. Even as the three were released back in Nairobi and Bungoma counties, EACC detectives arrested two more suspects in relation to the alleged fraud. Former ICT manager Tourism Fund Florangina was arrested and released on 300,000 shillings EACC police cash bail and ordered to appear at Malindi Anti-Corruption Court on December 28th. In Bungoma County, former CEO of Tourism Fund Alan Wafula will spend the night in police custody after he was arrested and failed to raise 300,000 shillings cash bail. EACC detectives are currently pursuing 11 suspects. They include former CEO Tourism Fund Joseph Cherutoy, Director Baseline Architects Limited Maurice Njue, Managing Director Baseline Architects Dominic Motanya, Director Ujenzi Consultant Redman Malala, Director Amitech Consulting Engineers James Wairago, Former Director Strategy and Resources Tourism Fund Eden Odiambo, Former Procurement Manager Tourism Fund Joseph Karanja, former Standard Development Manager Tourism Fund Ruth Sunday, former Senior Levy Inspector Tourism Fund George Muya, former Acting Procurement Manager Tourism Fund Nora Mukuna, and former Head of Legal Tourism Fund Nancy Siboy. Pale ambao waja eh, kamatwa wanaamurishwa kufika mbele ya tume hapa ESC headquarters ama katika regional office yoyote ya ESC na wasipofanya hivyo basi Tume itawakamata maali popote walipo. The officials allegedly colluded to inflate the cost of the 1.9 billion shillings project to 8.9 billion shillings. The commission says despite the irregular payment, the project is yet to be completed 15 years 